Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. In this episode, we delve into the captivating transformations of 20 actors who graced the screens of the 70s and 80s, contrasting their iconic appearances from the past with their astonishing looks today. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover the passage of time etched on the faces of these beloved stars, offering a glimpse into their journey through the decades. Number 20. Cheryl Ladd, born on July 12, 1951, in Huron, South Dakota, is best known as an actress for her role as Chris Munro in the famous television series, Charlie's Angels. Cheryl Ladd became famous for her youthful beauty, radiant smile, and distinctive blonde hair, making her a prominent figure in Hollywood. In the early years of her career, Cheryl Ladd was characterized by her freshness and vibrant energy. She maintained a slender figure and often wore fashionable clothes of that era, contributing to her iconic style. Over the decades, Cheryl Ladd's appearance has naturally changed, reflecting the passage of time. Now in her 70s, she has gracefully aged, maintaining a healthy and balanced appearance. The lines on her face have matured, showing signs of aging such as wrinkles and slight changes in skin texture, but she still retains many natural beauties. The audience's reaction to her current appearance is generally positive, with many appreciating her graceful aging while remaining actively engaged in the entertainment industry. Cheryl Ladd's appearance has not negatively affected her career. In fact, she continues to work regularly in television and film, proving that talent and allure are timeless qualities in Hollywood. Number 19. Linda Carter, born on July 24, 1951, in Phoenix, Arizona, is a renowned actress best known for her role as Wonder Woman in the popular television series from 1975 to 1979. Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman made her a familiar name and an icon of female empowerment in the 1970s. In the early years of her career, Linda Carter was admired for her glamorous beauty, tall figure, and captivating blue eyes. Her long black hair and athletic physique perfectly suited the role of Wonder Woman, turning her into a timeless symbol of strength and grace. Carter's classic beauty and screen charisma helped her garner a devoted fan following and numerous awards. Over the decades, Linda Carter's appearance has naturally evolved with time. Now at the age of 70, she still maintains an elegant and graceful demeanor. The lines on her face have matured with age, showing natural wrinkles and signs of aging, yet she still retains many classic features. Fans generally have a positive reaction to her aging, appreciating the graceful transition while she remains actively engaged in the entertainment industry. Linda Carter's enduring allure and talent have kept her in the spotlight, with her appearance enhancing rather than hindering her career. Number 18, Faye Dunaway, born on January 14, 1941, in Bascom, Florida, is a renowned actress famous for her iconic films of the 1970s and 1980s. Dunaway is well known for roles in movies such as, Bonnie and Clyde, 1967. In the early years of her career, Faye Dunaway was recognized for her striking beauty, characterized by high cheekbones, sharp eyes, and an elegant demeanor. Her blonde hair and classic Hollywood style made her a fashion icon of the era. She often portrayed strong, complex women, leaving a strong impression on audiences and critics alike. Dunaway's appearance has naturally changed over time. Now in her 80s, she still maintains a refined and sophisticated look. The lines on her face have matured, showing natural wrinkles and signs of aging, yet she still retains much of her elegant beauty. Dunaway has sometimes been open about using cosmetic procedures to maintain her appearance, but she has aged gracefully while retaining her inherent grace and charm. While some admire her elegant beauty and resilience in the industry, others notice the differences from her youth. However, Dunaway's talent and contributions to cinema ensure that her legacy remains intact. Her appearance has not significantly impacted her career, 
she continues to take on roles in film and television, proving that her skills and screen presence are irreplaceable. Number 17, Jane Seymour, born on February 15, 1951, in Hayes, Middlesex, England, is a renowned actress known for her roles in both television and film. Seymour gained global fame for her portrayal of the Bond girl Solitaire in Live and Let Die, 1973. In the early years of her career, Jane Seymour was celebrated for her striking beauty, characterized by delicate features, expressive eyes, and flowing brown hair. Her elegance and classic beauty made her a popular choice for various roles, often emphasizing her refined appearance and graceful demeanor. Today, at the age of 70, she still maintains a youthful and vibrant appearance, continuing to captivate audiences. The lines on her face have naturally matured, with subtle wrinkles and signs of aging, yet she still retains much of her natural beauty. Seymour has openly shared her approach to aging, emphasizing a healthy lifestyle including regular exercise and a balanced diet, as well as non-invasive cosmetic procedures such as laser therapy and skincare routines. Fans have reacted positively to Seymour's graceful aging, appreciating her honesty in maintaining her appearance and her ability to age gracefully while still radiating charm. Jane Seymour's appearance has not negatively impacted her career. In fact, she continues to take on significant roles in both television and film, proving that her beauty and talent are irreplaceable. Number 16, Candace Bergen, born Candace Patricia Bergen on May 9, 1946, in Beverly Hills, California, is a renowned actress and former fashion model. She is best known for her starring role in the television series, Murphy Brown, which aired from 1988 to 1998. In the early years of her career, Candace Bergen was praised for her glamorous beauty, characterized by sharp blue eyes, high cheekbones, and elegant blonde hair. Over the decades, Bergen's appearance has naturally changed with age. Now in her 70s, she has gracefully embraced the aging process. The lines on her face have matured, showing natural wrinkles and signs of aging. Bergen has spoken out about her choice to age gracefully and resist the pressure to undergo extensive cosmetic procedures, advocating for a more authentic approach to aging in Hollywood. Fans have generally reacted positively to her natural aging, appreciating her honesty and confidence. Bergen's appearance has not negatively impacted her career. In fact, her choice to age gracefully has resonated with many and has solidified her as a role model for graceful aging. She continues to work in both television and film, proving that talent and true beauty are ageless. Number 15, Thomas Mark Harmon, known professionally as Mark Harmon, was born on September 2, 1951, in Burbank, California. He is a renowned actor best known for his role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs in the long-running television series, NCIS. Harmon has had a prolific career in both television and film, with notable roles in Saint Elsewhere. In the early years of his career, Mark Harmon was praised for his handsome appearance, characterized by a sharp jawline, expressive blue eyes, and an athletic physique. His debonair charm and magnetic presence made him a heartthrob in the 1970s and 1980s. Over the years, Harmon's appearance has naturally evolved. Now in his 70s, he still retains much of his sophistication but has embraced a more mature look. The lines on his face have matured gracefully, showing subtle signs of aging such as fine wrinkles and a more experienced complexion. Despite these changes, Harmon maintains his strength and dominance on screen. Fans have generally reacted positively to Harmon's aging, appreciating the authenticity and depth it brings to his performances. 
His evolving appearance does not diminish his appeal as an actor. In fact, it adds a sense of authenticity and credibility to his roles. Number 14, Richard Dean Anderson, born on January 23, 1950, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, is a renowned actor and producer best known for his roles in the television series, MacGyver. Anderson began his acting career in the mid-1970s with guest roles on various television shows. In his early career, Anderson was known for his masculine appearance, including his tall stature, athletic build, and expressive eyes. His approachable demeanor and authenticity contributed to making him a favorite among fans of all ages. As he aged, Anderson's appearance naturally changed. Now at the age of 70, he has embraced a more mature look. His once sandy blonde hair has turned gray, and he has gained a bit of weight, adding to his sense of sophistication. Despite these changes, Anderson's warm smile and charismatic presence remain unchanged, continuing to endear him to fans. Fans appreciate his natural and graceful transition. His enduring appeal and talent have kept him relevant in the entertainment industry. While he has taken on fewer roles in recent years, he remains active in the industry through guest appearances and voice work. Richard Dean Anderson's appearance has not negatively impacted his career. Instead, his ability to adapt to changes in appearance while maintaining his screen presence has contributed to his enduring appeal. Number 13, Mark Richard Hamill, born on September 25, 1951, in Oakland, California, is a renowned actor, voice actor, and writer best known for his iconic role as Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars franchise. Hamill's career has spanned over four decades, during which he has not only made a significant impact in the film industry but also become a beloved figure in pop culture. Over the years, Hamill's appearance has naturally changed, reflecting both the aging process and his versatility as an actor. While he may no longer resemble the youthful Luke Skywalker from the original trilogy, his charisma and enduring presence continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Regardless of any changes in his appearance, Hamill's connection to his most famous role remains a crucial part of his career and public image. As his appearance has evolved over the years, his status as a beloved cultural icon has only been further solidified, leaving a lasting mark in cinematic history. Number 12. Anne Margaret born on April 28, 1941, in Valsjöbyn, Sweden, is a renowned actress, singer, and dancer with a career spanning over six decades. Known for her vibrant energy, captivating voice, and stunning beauty, Anne Margaret has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She began her career in the late 1950s as a singer and dancer. Anne Margaret is known for her fiery red hair, mesmerizing blue eyes, and alluring figure. Her glamorous appearance and dynamic stage presence made her a favorite in Hollywood and an icon of the 1960s and 1970s entertainment industry. Currently, Anne Margaret's appearance has naturally evolved. At the age of 80, she still maintains her characteristic elegance and allure. Her red hair has been softened with a more subtle hue, and the lines on her face have matured gracefully, showing signs of aging such as wrinkles and softer skin. Despite these changes, she continues to exude a vibrant presence, often seen with her trademark smile and serene demeanor. The majority of people admire Anne Margaret's aging process, appreciating her approach to natural aging. Her appearance does not hinder her career, on the contrary, her enduring beauty and talent contribute to her long-lasting appeal.
Number 11. Gary Berghoff, born on May 24, 1943, in Bristol, Connecticut, is a renowned actor and musician best known for his role as Corporal Walter Eugene Radar O'Reilly in the television series, Moss H. Berghoff began his career in theater and music. His performance was so well received that he was one of the few actors to reprise his role in the television adaptation. In terms of appearance, Berghoff was known for his youthful look, petite stature, and distinctive gestures that brought the character of Radar to life. His expressive eyes and innocent demeanor made Radar a character that audiences could easily connect with and support. Over the years, Berghoff's appearance has naturally changed. At the age of 80, he has accepted the changes that come with aging. His once dark hair has turned gray, and he has gained some weight, a common occurrence in aging. The lines on his face have matured, showing signs of a rich life, including wrinkles and softer skin. In the face of his changes, people have expressed a positive attitude and appreciation for his natural transition and gracefulness. Gary Berghoff has stepped back from acting in recent years, focusing more on art and wildlife conservation activities. His career has not been negatively affected by changes in his appearance. Instead, his enduring talent and beloved character portrayal have preserved his legacy. Number 10, Cher, born on May 20, 1946, in El Centro, California, is a multifaceted artist, including a singer, actress, and television host, who has made an indelible mark in the entertainment industry for over six decades. She has had numerous hit songs such as, I Got You Babe, with her former husband, which made them famous worldwide. In terms of appearance, Cher is known for her long black hair and bold hippie-style fashion, reflecting freedom and individuality. However, as a film star, her unique and seductive appearance only adds to her allure and impact on audiences. She has undergone some changes in her appearance, including changing hairstyles and makeup styles to reflect her maturity and personal style. Despite facing challenges and obstacles, Cher has always shown patience and determination in her career. She is not only a talented artist but also a true fashion icon, demonstrating personality and determination in every situation. Even as she has aged, Cher has maintained her confident demeanor and distinctive allure, proving that her appeal does not diminish over time. In summary, Cher's career is not only based on talent but also reinforced by her unique appearance and personal fashion sense, and she confidently and elegantly adapts to the changes of time. Cher is not just an entertainment icon but also an icon of confidence and individuality. Number 9. Nancy McKeon is a renowned actress known for her role as Joe Polnicek in the television series, The Facts of Life. In terms of appearance, McKeon is known for her distinctive features, including her black hair and expressive eyes. The character's strong demeanor combined with McKeon's natural beauty and affable demeanor made her stand out on the show. McKeon's performance as Joe is characterized by a blend of strength, vulnerability, and humor, which made her a standout on the program. Over the years, McKeon's appearance has naturally changed. Today, in her late 50s, she has embraced the changes that come with aging. Her black hair has become slightly lighter, and she has acquired a few wrinkles, a common occurrence with age. Despite these changes, McKeon still maintains her distinctive appearance, with her expressive eyes and captivating smile continuing to enchant fans. Her legacy as a strong and talented actress, particularly in an iconic role on The Facts of Life, continues to be praised by both old and new fans. McKeon remains an inspiration, demonstrating that talent and allure truly transcend physical changes that come with aging. Number 8, 
Steve Martin is a renowned actor, comedian, writer, and musician known for his unique and intelligent sense of humor. His career spans over five decades, during which he has become one of the most beloved figures in the entertainment industry. In terms of appearance, Martin is known for his distinctive silver hair, which he embraced early in his career. His tall stature, expressive blue eyes, and ever-present smile make him a recognizable figure on screen. Martin's witty banter and physical comedy prowess are key elements in his charm and appeal. Over the years, Martin's appearance has naturally evolved. Today, in his late 70s, he has aged gracefully. His silver hair remains a prominent feature, although it has thinned over time. The lines on his face have matured, showing signs of a rich life, including wrinkles and a more seasoned appearance. Despite these changes, Martin's expressive eyes and warm smile persist, continuing to captivate fans. Martin's physical transformation has not adversely affected his career. Instead, his talent and adaptability have ensured that he maintains relevance in the entertainment industry. In addition to acting, Martin has found success as a playwright, author, and Grammy-winning musician, particularly in the bluegrass genre. His legacy as a comedian, actor, writer, and musician continues to be praised by fans and new audiences alike. Number 7, Ted McGinley, born on May 30, 1958, in Newport Beach, California, is a famous actor known for his roles in both comedy and drama television series. With a career spanning decades, McGinley has become a familiar face on television, often recognized for his charming and handsome appearance. His career began to take off in the early 1980s when he joined the cast of the popular television series, Happy Days. In terms of appearance, Ted McGinley has always been known for his classic beauty, including strong jawlines, expressive blue eyes, and an athletic physique. His appearance has helped him portray roles that often leverage his charm and friendly demeanor on screen. Over the years, McGinley's appearance has naturally evolved. Today, in his mid-60s, he has aged gracefully, maintaining his handsome features with a more mature and refined look. His hair has turned gray, and his face shows natural signs of aging, such as wrinkles and more mature skin. Fans have positively responded to McGinley's aging, appreciating his continued presence on television and his ability to adapt to various roles. The change in Ted McGinley's appearance has not negatively impacted his career. In fact, it has allowed him to take on diverse and more mature roles. Number 6, Don Johnson, born on December 15, 1949, in Flat Creek, Missouri, is a versatile actor, producer, director, singer, and songwriter, best known for his role as James, Sonny, Crockett in the iconic 1980s television series, Miami Vice. In terms of appearance, Don Johnson is known for his handsome looks, piercing blue eyes, and captivating smile. His signature style in, Miami Vice, including rolled-up sleeves and no socks, became iconic and was widely imitated. Over the years, Johnson's appearance has naturally evolved. Today, at the age of around 70, his once sandy blonde hair has turned silver, giving him a more refined and sophisticated look. His face shows the lines of experience, with wrinkles reflecting his long career and life experiences. Despite these changes, Johnson still retains his charm and presence, continuing to attract audiences. Fans have responded positively to Johnson's aging, appreciating his ability to embrace his mature appearance while still maintaining his signature style. He continues to work steadily in film and television, taking on roles that showcase his versatility. The change in Don Johnson's appearance has not negatively affected his career. Instead, it has allowed him to take on more diverse and mature roles. His enduring appeal and enduring talent have ensured that he remains relevant and respected in the entertainment industry.
Number 5. Meg Ryan, born on November 19, 1961, in Fairfield, Connecticut, is a renowned actress and producer known for her roles in romantic comedy films. Her charming presence and ability to portray endearing characters have made her one of the most beloved actresses of her time. Ryan's breakthrough role came in the romantic comedy film, When Harry Met Sally. In terms of appearance, Meg Ryan is known for her fresh beauty, characterized by bright blue eyes, curly blonde hair, and a radiant smile. Her youthful and vibrant appearance has significantly contributed to her allure and approachability on screen. Over the years, Ryan's appearance has undergone notable changes. After a period of stepping back from the spotlight, her return with changes to her face believed to be cosmetic procedures has sparked much debate and varied reactions from fans, while others continue to support her. The changes in Ryan's appearance have somewhat impacted her career, as Hollywood often emphasizes youthfulness, especially for actresses in romantic roles. However, her legacy as the queen of romantic comedies remains intact, and she continues to be fondly remembered for her contributions to the genre. Number 4. Victoria Jackson, born on August 2, 1959, in Miami, Florida, is an actress, comedian, and singer best known for her stint as a cast member on the award-winning comedy show, Saturday Night Live, SNL, from 1986 to 1992. In the early years of her career, Victoria Jackson was recognized for her quirky charm and unique sense of humor. Her innocent demeanor with large, expressive eyes and offbeat humor made her a standout performer on Saturday Night Live, where she became known for characters like the ditzy girl and the wacky cheerleader. Over the years, Victoria Jackson's appearance has undergone some changes. At the age of 64, she still retains many of her unique traits but has embraced a more natural and mature appearance. Despite the changes in her appearance, Victoria Jackson's comedic talent and infectious energy remain strong points in her performances. While she may not be in the spotlight of the entertainment industry as she once was, she still occasionally appears on television and in films, as well as pursues her passions for music and writing. Fans of Victoria Jackson appreciate her contributions to the comedy and entertainment industry, fondly remembering her memorable characters and comedic sketches from her time on Saturday Night Live. Number 3. Malcolm McDowell, born on June 13, 1943, in Horsforth, West Riding of Yorkshire, England, is a renowned British actor with a career spanning over six decades. He is known worldwide for his iconic role as Alex DeLarge in Stanley Kubrick's groundbreaking film, A Clockwork Orange, 1971. In terms of appearance, McDowell has a distinctive presence on screen, characterized by his piercing blue eyes, sharp features, and commanding voice. In his youth, he was praised for his handsome looks and magnetic charisma, which were essential factors in his appeal as an actor. As he aged, McDowell retained his captivating presence, often portraying characters with menace or sophistication. Over the years, McDowell's appearance has naturally changed, showing subtle signs of the typical aging process of someone who has had a long and successful career in Hollywood. Despite the passage of time, he continues to captivate audiences with his dynamic performances and undeniable talent. Fans of Malcolm McDowell admire his limitless talent, willingness to tackle challenging roles, and enduring impact on the world of cinema. Number 2. Shirley Jones, born on March 31, 1934, in Charleroi, Pennsylvania, is a renowned actress and singer famous for her roles in musical theater and television. She gained prominence through her portrayal of Laurie Williams in the musical, Oklahoma. 1955. 
In terms of appearance, Shirley Jones is known for her classic Hollywood beauty, with a radiant smile, expressive eyes, and graceful demeanor. Her wholesome and radiant look made her the perfect choice for roles in musicals and family-oriented productions that she often undertook. Today, in her late 80s, she has gracefully aged, maintaining her allure and elegant style. Her once vibrant blonde hair has transitioned into a subtle gray, and her face reflects the wisdom and experience gained from her long and successful career. Despite these changes, Jones continues to exude the warmth and charm that have defined her career. Fans have positively responded to Jones's aging, appreciating her grace and sophistication. The changes in Jones's appearance have not negatively affected her career, instead, they have allowed her to transition into roles that suit her maturity and experience. She continues to be praised for her contributions to musical theater and television, and her legacy as an actress remains strong. Number 1. Morgan Fairchild is best known as an actress with prominent roles in television series during the 1970s and 1980s. She rose to fame in popular television programs, becoming an icon of that era. She gained widespread recognition for her portrayal of Jennifer Pace in the soap opera, Search for Tomorrow, from 1973 to 1977. In terms of appearance, Morgan Fairchild has been praised for her glamorous beauty, characterized by her blonde hair, piercing blue eyes, and graceful features. Her seductive allure and sophisticated demeanor made her a standout presence on screen, often portraying wealthy and ambitious women. Over the years, Fairchild's appearance has naturally evolved with age. Today, at the age of 70, she continues to maintain her elegance and distinctive style. The lines on Fairchild's face have gracefully matured, with subtle signs of aging such as fine wrinkles and slight changes in skin texture. Despite these changes, she still possesses captivating blue eyes and a serene demeanor, continuing to exude timeless beauty. Fans have generally responded positively to Fairchild's aging, appreciating her approach to the natural aging process. Morgan Fairchild's appearance has not adversely affected her career. In fact, her enduring appeal and talent have kept her prominently in the entertainment industry spotlight. So, that wraps up our journey exploring 20 actors of the 70s and 80s and their shocking look now. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more captivating insights into the world of cinema. Thank you for tuning in.